Halo crafters, today we're going to be making the Halo Reach thigh piece. So if you're interested in seeing how this is made, go ahead and continue watching. The thigh is comprised of a lot of small pieces that make up most of the detail and then just a couple very large pieces that make up the majority of the piece. So here I'm just going to cut out the one of the larger pieces that whole, uh, houses the majority of the details. Note that there's a cut gap that the templates mark on the sides. I don't cut that gap out, I just move my edge over to the side and I just cut it all in one swipe without having to glue within, in, within the part. Here I'm cutting, cutting out the middle section of this side piece. A lot of this is standard procedure. These are all straight edges or straight cuts. This is made, this is being cut with two millimeter foam, these pieces right here. Now this is high density six millimeter foam that I'm using. That's why it's a darker black. I'm going with high density foam here because I know I'll be putting very strong magnets behind that and I need the high density foam to help alleviate deformation concerns with the magnetic pole. The foam is not magne magnetic itself, but the props that it will be holding onto are. Here I'm just gonna mark the space for the magnets to go. And it'll cut out beforehand while it's easier. It looks like it'll fit. I'm gonna dremel these edges flat because some of them were a little rounded just by the the force on the blade, the blade curved a little bit. All right, let's just put everything into place. Let's start with the giant front piece now. I'm just gonna cut this out. Majority of this is gonna be uh, straight edges except for some of the sides. Just focus on visualizing it in your head, how the pieces are going to fit together, and you can cheat by looking at how I angle my blade if you need the help. When you're cutting these rectangles out, don't lose them, you're going to want them later. I accidentally had it recut mine. Notice that the joint on this piece has a slight um, bend to it, so it's not flush. There's supposed to be, it's supposed to look like they're creasing inwards, so it's like putting two cylinders next to each other. Look at the game reference pick to see what I'm talking about. I just made a little boo boo here, so you're gonna want to be careful putting these together, it's a little difficult. Now, I could have tried to rebuild the piece from this mistake, but honestly, with the time it takes to make these videos, I was on a little bit more of a budget than I usually am. So I decided to try to make it work. Here we're cutting out the back plate. The edges around this, according to the game reference images, have uh, some sort of uh, divots or ridges along the seam lines, and so I'm just dremeling those out. 
this is not contained in the template, so you're gonna so this is a free-handed detail. Gonna add another add another visible seam here. There we go. Match the game reference. Now let's start with the thigh shingles. These are the this is the hardest part of the build in my opinion. And I've got the heart because the shingles don't necessarily line up well when you're with the rest of the armor when you're trying to fit it in. And so I've, I came up with a trick that'll make that easier and I'll show you in a moment. So here's the trick, we're gonna put a, just a just rectangular slab of foam here and this will give us a little extra thickness to bond the sides to. We just gotta make sure that it's flat and smooth and this will make our job much easier. I'm gonna overcut on the bottom sides of these so that I have plenty of space to bond it to the back of the previous shingle. Now here's where we're gonna reuse that rectangle piece that we added. We're gonna attach it to the side and slightly increase along, along how close it is coming to the surface. There will be a gap on the right hand side where those two where those two pieces meet, a little triangle. I plan on just filling that outside of the video with a little piece of foam and some quick seal. And this piece is a little tricky. Uh, we're going to I'm gonna cut the whole thing out, but then I'm gonna find a good point to just freehand slice it off because I've found that it's easier to just end it somewhere and then just make the rest of the armor line up because we don't necessarily need this, uh, this whole piece. All it's doing is adding a bevel. But if you want to use the whole thing, by all means. I just find that those pulling off those sharp uh, bevel cuts to get it to fit is difficult. Notice that in the game reference picture, the uh, dremeled bevel that we added in earlier does not translate up to this piece that we're adding right now. So it'll, it may look weird that the seam line ends abruptly, but that's, well, that's what Bungie did. <laughs> Now when we go to add this piece on, do be careful. Uh, you don't want to follow the template exactly because when we're lining this up, the part of the bottom will not directly line up and that is because we freehanded the the angle, the bevel cuts it's lining up with. Here we're cutting out the last shingle. I'm just gonna align this up with an offset and then just continue putting this on like we've done the rest. Just make sure to be careful and don't stick, um, don't let the barge trick you into sticking two pieces together you don't want together.
Here I'm just going to slice off, a, I'm just going to bevel this angle, that way it matches the game reference. You may notice I didn't follow the template exactly on this piece, that's because I'm just going to slice it right here and just take what I need from it. Again, we're doing that because we freehand beveled the piece in next to that. For this piece, you're going to want to use thinner foam. So I believe this is either four or six millimeter. Both of them should work just fine. I'm going to drum all out some rough details with some low grit drum, and then I'm going to refine the smooth edges with uh, higher grit. So I'm going from 60 grit to 600 grit. You can use whatever works for you, but I like having really high grit to smooth it over to get it close as close to that factory finish as possible. We have a nice diamond shape, beautiful. Now this is just a personal touch I like to add. This piece looks like it would get a lot of wear, just from my own opinion, and so I like to round this piece's edges. It's not necessarily strict to the game, but I think it looks better this way. Now we don't have a really good template for cutting the, this next piece out, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna extract the template from the that larger piece. Now for this, you're gonna want a very sharp blade because we are going to be valley cutting some details into this piece and you want it. You do not want any resistance from the foam. You wanna be able to just sculpt that to your desires. If you're having difficulties with cutting these out, just try swapping your blade. There we go, that's the majority of those details. Now there are some undersuit details that are not captured in the template, so we just gotta freehand a bit a little bit of a template. It's more or less just a circle, two rectangles, and some half quarter circle things. There we go, just cut that out, and we're gonna turn that into foam. This is all two millimeter foam, so I'm going really thin here. Put it on. Now I did miss this little, whatever this piece is right here, so I'm gonna add that in. There are divots around the armor, so I'm just gonna add those in with a Dremel. And I'm going to smooth all these shingles out because they don't have hard edges. It is sort of a rubber like material. So I'm going to go ahead and just add those in. Make sure that looks soft and rubber like. Our leak seal will give it a nice rubber texture when we go to leak seal it later in another video.
There's that gap I was talking about. We'll fill that with quick seal and foam off, off camera. And here we are. Halo Reach thigh armor. Beautiful. Oh, don't look at my butt. Mobility test. Check out. Yeah. Alrighty, folks, that just about does it from me today. If you are interested in continuing and want in seeing these tutorials, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. Uh, I'm not necessarily posting terribly frequently, but I do try to post something that I believe is good when I do post. If, and if you're further interested in supporting this channel or getting some one-on-one -on -one help, I have a Patreon that you are welcome to subscribe to. I have various different ways of helping you one-on-one -on -one provided through there. Or maybe you already have a costume and you want to make your costume look as cool as possible. Through Fiverr, I am also offering costume photo editing. So if you're interested in that, there's a link down below. Uh, or you can find all of this at randomranger.com. Until I see you guys in the next one, peace.